New tonight at 5. Today, Democratic Senate candidate Cal Cunningham blasted incumbent Republican Senator Tom Tillis for having declared Tillis was prepared to vote no on impeaching President Trump. While Cunningham indicated he believes what Trump has done regarding Ukraine, he said Tillis should wait until he has heard all of the evidence. Cunningham made those comments during a one-on-one -on -one interview with NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey. Rad has more on the race and what Cunningham had to say. Cal Cunningham is running in a Senate race that promises to be one of the tightest and most closely watched of all of the races next year. As a senator, my job would be to listen to that evidence and not rush to judgment. Okay. Democratic right. Senate candidate Cal Cunningham blasted incumbent Republican Tom Tillis for publicly saying he was ready to vote no on impeaching President Trump. Here is Tillis in Charlotte just last week saying he could find nothing wrong with Trump asking the new president of the Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden and his son. The people could have their own concerns about uh, style, but I saw nothing in the way of substance that would uh, lead to a basis for impeachment. The question I think that's in front of North Carolinians is how can Tom Tillis rush to judgment? He's already declared that he is going to vote no in an important constitutional moment for our country. Somebody's got to do something about it. Cunningham is a native North Carolinian, an army veteran of Iraq and Afghanistan, and a former one-term state senator. Besides Cunningham, State Senator Erica Smith and Mecklenburg County Commissioner Trevor Fuller are also running for the Democratic nod. Tillis has been running ads already on TV, touting his support for Donald Trump, who has endorsed Tillis. Cunningham says Tillis' loyalty to Trump is an open question as the vote to impeach gets closer. In Tom Tillis, is he just vindicating a partisan interest? Or is he really prepared to do his constitutional duty in a co-equal branch of government? The North Carolina primary is coming up fast, just a matter of months until March 3rd of next year. In Charlotte, Rad Berkey, NBC Charlotte.